Day one, the beginnings of a visionary project. On the morning of 11th May 2025, a remarkable undertaking began. That has the potential to fundamentally change the way we interact with our planet. Governments from all over Europe came together to initiate a groundbreaking project. The construction of the first weather regulation station on the continent. Faced with the growing challenges of climate change, European nations were forced to look for innovative solutions and weather regulation appeared to be a promising answer. The day began with a flurry of correspondence between various government officials. Using carefully worded emails and encrypted communication channels, they exchanged ideas and proposed provisional dates for a first official meeting. The aim of this meeting would be to develop a framework plan that not only covers technical and scientific aspects, but also takes ethical, ecological and economic considerations into account. Parallel meetings were organised in Berlin, Paris, London and Rome, the capitals of the driving forces behind this project, to coordinate national interests and objectives. These internal meetings served to create a common basis for the upcoming international talks. At the same time, governments began to make contact with leading scientific institutes and technology companies. Inquiries were sent to check the availability of experts in the fields of climate science, atmospheric physics and environmental engineering. Companies specialising in advanced weather modification technologies were asked to submit proposals for initial design concepts that could be used in the upcoming discussions. By the end of that first day, the foundations had been laid, but it was clear that it would be a long and complex journey. The next Nyheim 99 days would be filled with debates, research, tests and ultimately the realisation of a system that could control the weather. Preparations were in full swing and the parties involved were aware of the enormous responsibility they bore. But despite the enormous challenges, there was a sense of hope and a common endeavour to create something for the benefit of all. This first step began a journey that would not only push technological and scientific boundaries, but also raise profound questions about our relationship with nature and the technological possibilities that lie ahead.